for a wonderful couple that were the first people to believe in the Buffy idea about a woman who can defend herself and, and put money behind that and get the first film made. Right? So, bow down, put on the kazooie, fine. But they messed it up. <laughs> right? And they didn't get the tone. And they, they made it into a farce. And it was funny, it was okay, but Joss needs to be played very straight, very realistic, and then it's really hilarious. Uh, and so, Joss got them to back off of the TV show. Give them money. Because they got, in the contract for the movie, they get the rights to all Buffy characters in the Buffy universe. What does it say? Uh, throughout the... You, Throughout the universe to the end of time. Something like that. Yeah. It's that's actually a normal line. It's a creative process, that's a normal line. And um, uh, so you can see their names on every episode, and they should be there. Uh, but every ever since then, every time Joss tries to get a camera on any of us, they come in and it all just blows up. So, um, but I, 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 no bad, we should not have bad feelings for the Kazoos, because without them, we would never even know the name Buck the Vampire. Um, so Joss, Joss will not be denied, and he's like, okay, fine, you don't have rights over comics, I'll just write my ideas in comics. And so, so Joss's vision continues through the comics. That being said, I think that uh, comics will give you anything that you want, because you don't have a budget, you don't have to schedule actor schedules, you have no constraints at all, and you can just have Spike with a spaceship! You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and there's something about giving artists everything that they want, and having no constraints, that somehow is not, sometimes is exciting in a strange way. Same thing with Pro Tools, with music. Uh, once, you, once you can have anything that you want, and you don't have to deal with your own humanness and your own mistakes, and you can eradicate what you think are mistakes, which is actually the dirt, which is actually really good. Um, sometimes it's not as interesting. So I think the comics are great, but I, I would like to, to tell the people who are writing comics, pretend that you have a TV budget. Pretend that there are those constraints back on you and force your creativity back into that smaller hole, because it'll start to sizzle again. Um, and I, I don't know, I thought that Spike was getting a little too cool. Uh, and so I wrote a comic that I wanted to take Spike back to the underdog character that I thought that he existed as so well in the TV series. Um, and so I wrote a comic book where he tries to be the hero, gets his butt kicked by the villain, tries to get a girlfriend, gets dumped by the girlfriend, he's homeless, he's starving to death, he's, he's down on his luck, and, and he's sleeping in, sleeping in alleyways in abandoned buildings and about to die. You know? And that's what I thought that was. <laughs> so, uh, but I think it's like, it's all a wonderful exercise, and I think I think that the theme is very strong, and I think the character is very strong, and, and I'm hoping that they, I hope that they continue to write for them forever, because I think that it'll it'll, it'll hold that. Long.